So in this screencast, I just want to show you how the formula changes when you use a V-belt. So when you have a V-belt, uh, the V-belt is specified at a particular angle. And the belt then uh, interacts with, with, the, with the pulley uh, at these points here. Okay. So this is the normal force. And the vertical component of the normal force on this side plus the vertical uh, component of the normal force on this side, when I add the two of them together, I get this reaction force R. Now, if I take this angle here to be alpha, that's half the V-belt angle. So you might be told the V-belt uh, has a, uh, an angle of 40 degrees. Well, then alpha here is half that. It's 20 degrees. So if that's alpha, then this too is alpha because this is perpendicular to the belt. So there's my angle alpha. This is the vertical uh, component. Okay, R. So, uh, and this is my hypotenuse, which is N. So I can say sine alpha is equal to uh, half of R, because N is okay, this N, it's half of this, and this N here is half of this, the other half. So sine alpha is half R over N. And then if I multiply both sides by n, so I get n sine alpha is equal to half r, and then multiply by 2, I get r is equal to 2n times alpha sine alpha. And then just rearranging that, I get 2n is equal to r times sine alpha. Okay, I'm just going to park that now for uh, a minute. So the frictional force, well the frictional force is equal to, to mu n, but with a, a v-belt it's twice as large because there's friction due to here and the friction due to here so it's two times mu n so there's the frictional force there's the reaction force on the on the, on the belt and i've already seen that 2n is equal to r sine alpha 1 over sine alpha is called cosecant alpha okay so r over sine alpha is equal to r times cosecant alpha So the frictional force then becomes, so instead of 2n, I get mu times, and I'm going to put an r cosecant alpha, r cosecant alpha for the 2n. Okay, so that's interesting because when we did it originally, for a flat belt, this was the frictional force, mu r. And with the, with the uh, v-belt, it's now mu r cosecant alpha. So the friction force has increased by a value of cosecant alpha. So instead of mu now, we're going to be using mu cosecant alpha. So here was the original um, flat belt formula where we had mu theta. Now with the V belt, instead of mu, we're going to go mu cosecant alpha times theta. So that's our, our new formula for, flat, for a V belts. Okay, so for a V-belt um, arrangement, is T1 over T2 is equal to E times mu theta cosecant alpha. And what we have to be careful of here is theta is in radians and alpha is in degrees. Okay, can we look at that in an example? 